Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of our Call to Arms uh, editor series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the camera follow bone tool. Um, so let's begin. First off, I'm going to show you how to find the bones on the vehicle. I'm just going to come over here. And we're using the German Opel truck. Um, but it, this command, uh, with trial and error, you'll you'll be able to use any vehicle. All right, first thing you want to do is go Alt V, and then Alt V again. As you can see, the bones pop up. Uh, so in the previous tutorial, uh, which was an Assault Squad Two, I did the Willy Jeep, um, and we used the body. And the reason we won't use body for a vehicle like this is because it's too low and um, the camera will seep into the canopy and uh, you won't be able to see anything so what we're going to go for today is the shield underscore cover that's the bone we're going to be using um sweet now that you know that this will be the bone and how to how to navigate to that go alt v again and it clears it Next thing we need is the slot ID for the unit. So select the vehicle, come down where it says name just underneath, it says slot underscore ID, and copy and paste the ID next to it. Next thing is we're gonna go on the triggers tab, click on camera, make a folder, uh, call it whatever you want. Um, so the command is located in scene and there it is, scene up the top there, camera, follow, phone. Double click on that. Um, first things first is the entity, so that's going to be the slot ID, so copy and paste that in there. Bone, as I said before, we're using the shield underscore cover. FOV, uh, so for this I've gone 90. Um, Play around, 60 is not too bad, um, 30 is good as well, uh, and you can even go down as far as 25. It's all trial and error and, and what sort of effect you're trying to achieve. We'll do this last. Y angle, basically the tilt of the camera, we've gone for 15, and the Z angle, I've not had to use it yet, um, but so just leave it at zero. All right, so the offsets, X axis, is going to be going uh, forward and back so we want the camera to be sitting back behind the vehicle I've gone for minus 100 Y axis is left or right we don't want the camera to be either all left or right we want the camera to be in the middle of the vehicle um, dead on and the Z axis is up and down so I've got the camera up 40 and then once you've done Click apply and that basically allows the or enables the camera follow bone to work. Um, don't be discouraged when you're doing this um, or get frustrated. It actually takes a while, a lot of trial and error to get the camera where you want it um, because the only way to see it is actually playing the mission. So we'll take a take a bit of time to figure out how you want it, uh, but once you do, you can always come back and use the same settings. Alright, that's done guys. Now the next step is I'm going to show you how to cancel the camera follow bone command. So um, by that means when you reach the end of it, you don't want to use that, that camera or any more. Um, this is how you cancel it. So I'm just going to do it off the waypoint. Um, but you can do it in the triggers tab as well. So once the truck reaches waypoint 5, be a two delay a two second delay and then the camera follow bone command again basically you do not want to touch any of the values leave it all blank as seen here and then just make sure the fly box is unticked and it will cancel it all right that's pretty much it guys um this works with all vehicles it just takes a bit of fiddling around to find out what values uh, work um, yeah 
Play it once more, so that way you can see it cancelling. You can go Control Shift Alt D. That hides the interface. Control shift alt D again and it brings everything back. And that's it. After two seconds it cancelled it and then you can now move the camera around once again. So um I hope this video makes a bit more sense. Um I know the one I did in Assault Squad 2, um a few people had trouble understanding it. Um Hopefully this clears it, clears things up a bit. Uh, if anyone has any troubles or questions about this, feel free to put it in the description below. Um, and I'll do my best to, to help you guys out. Um, if you do want tutorials on how to do it with other vehicles, uh, leave that in the comments below and I, I can do another video. You know, a couple of extra parts on how to do it with different vehicles. Um, the same process with every vehicle it's just the values are different but yeah let me know what you guys want because um, i can definitely definitely do that for you um but i hope you learned something in this video the uh the next episode we're going to be looking at um talking so uh officers or whoever you want talking um just like text and we'll go into the how to do voice acting later on but yeah thanks for watching guys um like comment subscribe of course all that helps and i'll, I'll see you in the next one